Up, normal. Shields put the pitch frame of Murray back down. I'm in. Am I interrupting something? No, what do you have? The last battle reports from the Alliance. Thanks. The Alliance have made further gains against Pax since the Second Battle of Ongris. Intel suggests that Arcadius is gathering his forces at Sierra for one final stand before pa Alliance enters Pax territory. So Sierra will be the decisive battle of this war. If Sierra is liberated, the Alliance will be poisoned to launch strikes into Pax worlds. That's a situation not even Arcadius would take lightly. I have to realize the Alliance cannot be defeated once that happens. His only option would be either sue for peace or risk total annihilation. The Alliance has never fought a war beyond the neutral area in its entire history. It seems incomparable that they plan to conquer all the packed space. Gray doesn't fight a war unless he intends to win. Abel looked at the picture frame. It's been a long fight, but it seems the end is in sight. Would have preferred to celebrate her birthday on Sierra. Cause then it looks like we'll make it on time. Holy fucking! Would people stop fucking doing that to me? Ah! Oh, you creep me out ever since that fucking trip on Ongress. <sighs> I've been jumpy, you know. Like I think like she's gonna turn into the fucking girl or my sister or da. Stop. Ava put her hand on shield. Soldiers, Ava? Yeah. These soldiers have carried much. Isn't it time to let some things go? Not yet. Not while the crimson flag flies over our home. Not yet. I have nothing further. See you. Let me guess. Another doorbell? Uh. Huh? Ah! Uh, uh. Ah, this is a familiar scene. Oh, I remember these days. I miss these days. Just believe it or not. Kato sat with Ava in an empty classroom. The curtains fluttered in the breeze as the twilight poured through the window. Huh. I look a lot different than you did in a you well not a lot, but you look kinda different than you did in Academy. Those eyes are a lot more piercing though. I'm sorry, is this Ava or Sola? Jesus Christ, those eyes. <clears throat> hey Kato. Huh? It's late, everything ev everything. Everyone else has already left. Yeah. You still have that stack of paperwork to do, right? Besides, the graduation ceremony is coming up and you got a lot of work to do. <sighs> Nobody else seems to think so. Because he never asks for help. You always try to handle everything by yourself. You know, makes you, it just makes you look suck up. Stop. Suck. You should stop. <laughs> oh, yeah, but deep down, I know you want me to stay here. But there's nothing even Cinderella likes less than to have to fill out paperwork by her lonesome. Idiot. Oh, classic Ava. Classic Ava. God, I fucking remember when her hair was only this long. Now it like goes all the way down to her fucking knees! <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't look bad, but it's like she, her hair goes down to her knees! <laughs> it's crazy! <laughs> huh? Oh, this is a very upfront view again. There you go, I'd say it's good enough for today. It was started staring at the stack of paperwork. Don't worry, I'm sure you filled them all out properly. Come oh, on, let's go. I have to pick up Marie from her lessons. Oh, please don't. Please don't do whatever you're gonna do. Kato grabbed Ava by the arm and pulled her away. But I should double check. It's fine. The two watched with the winter chill. Here, take this. Kato handed Ava a scarf. I don't need it. I see your breath in the air. She wrapped it around her neck. It's already winter, damn it. Everyone's gonna be buried in snow again. Oh my god, is Ava blushing? 
I never remember this happening in Academy, but I do remember all of this, though. Oh my god, it's like, it's like it was just yesterday. Myself, Sola, Ava, Shigara, we're all, and Marae, we're all waiting for a saga to show her ass up so we can go to the park and I can get drunk off of Asaga's special juice and eat her special mix. <laughs> I got high on life. <laughs> the dog slobbered me back to life. <laughs> oh, I remember those days. This really makes me want to go play Sunrider Academy again. Huh. Thanks. Yeah. Figure out where you're gonna do. You figure out where you go have a graduation. Not really. Tell me once everything's decided. Mm. Gonna be rough without you, Perez. School's gonna miss you. Mm. Hardly. She arrived at the concert hall. Your sister still plays music? Yeah, she's gotten quite good. I should take you to one of her concerts. Hmm. Murray! It's nice to see you not dead. <laughs> oh, but it's gonna happen. Y'all know. Y'all know that shit's gonna happen. Y'all know she's gonna get shot during this flashback. And we're gonna wake the fuck up. Or we're gonna... I don't know... I'm, I'm just waiting for it. Kato! Ready? Uh-huh. Three of them walked home. The Maestro... Scolded me again for dozing off. Really? I thought he liked you. I don't think so. He always sang how I slowed down too much. I think the song sounds better that way. <laughs> Snowflake fell from the sky. All of a sudden, gunshot! Oh, look, Kato! It's snow! So it is. Next thing I know, I won't even be able to get to my school anymore because our door will be frozen closed. Oh, you're so weak against the cold, Kato. I can build snow forts and have snowball. We can have. We can build snow forts and have snowball. <laughs> I can't believe we haven't figured out how to build a dome over Sierra City in this day and age. That'd be no f that'd be no fun. Purr. Meanie. It's like a hop beach over the cold any day. Too bad we don't have much of that here. I bet Ava likes the snow more than you, don't you, Ava? Hmm. It's not bad. See? Traitor! Beach. Idiot. Oh my god, we're having mental conversations with each other. <laughs> I'm still awaiting. The trio arrived at their apartment. Your dad's out on deployment again, isn't he? Come on, my mom wants you over for dinner. I shouldn't intrude. No choice, it's a direct order from mom. I want Ava over too. Your dad wanted this too. Yes, I have no choice. She's blushing again. Look at her. Oh my god, I've never seen Ava do this during Academy. Don't worry about it. Okay, no. No gunshots, no blood, no dead Murray. Calm woke shields from his memories. Captain, you're needed on the bridge. I'll be right there. Report. I just received a priority one message from the, blah, blah, from the Alliance. One of their spy drones just returned the sighting of the Legion in the Huron system. Huron, that's quite a detachment from the Threatner of War. Theodore of War. What's it doing so far from the action? Unknown. Whatever it's doing, it's not charity work. Has the Alliance already taken action? Admiral Gray rushed our fleets to its last known position. We have been contract contacted to scout the situation before the Alliance ship arrives. Set a course. Hi, Captain. My apologies, my leader. Admiral Gray turned out a far more treacherous villain than I could have imagined. It had not been for this vile gully, we could have had liberated Ongris, rescued the princess, and sank the entire combined fleet in one stroke. 
Montana, you are still but a boy. You do not know what evil lies in the hearts of the Imperialists. They are but a maelstrom of greed and perversion, bubbling inside faces which only resemble mad. Forgive me, I shall not fail again. Very well, your idealism is a future to our cause. We will forgive any mistake which arouses the desire to see our creed fulfilled. You are too kind, my goodness, sir. This is a project we have been working on. You will accompany us to oversee its completion. You will leave New Eden? We already have left four days ago. Tell us, do you know of the Paradox Project? Tell us, do you know of the Paradox oh, I messed up. Of course, a failed lab experiment with crystallosity into a black hole. A failure? Nay. They say that's the greatest scientific discoveries, though, found by eight accidents. Come with us. Soon we will unravel a new weapon against the Alliance, one that will allow us to turn the tide of this war and strike terror into the hearts of every Imperialist from Solaris to Four Points. Oh fuck. Am I gonna have to... Am I gonna... Am I... Yeah? Uh, duh, but, uh, do you like me? What? The hell kind of a question is that all of a sudden? What the, the, Ava? Am I gonna have, am I gonna, am I gonna have to put up the center bar again? I wonder. Love's just a chemical reaction. A certain conditions are met, chemicals are released in our blessing to simulate the sensation of love. Huh. Are we any different than robots then? Running on chemicals would simulate our existence? Not making any sense, Ava. Your eyes are transmitting a lot of imp electronic information of what you see to your brain. But how do you know any of it is true? Our reality is a simulation of what really exists. It hurts my head to think otherwise. Ava sat on the desk and looked out the window. There are multiple trillions of us living on more worlds than we can count. In the scheme of things, each one of us is insignificant, and yet, why do we believe we have each other, we have our own destiny, fuck. Because we're all free people, that's why. You always have to make simple things too so complicated. Oh? Of course I like you, you're reliable. I get the feeling that you can accomplish anything. Idiots. I wasn't asking that. What? I merely enjoy talking about things which go over your head. What? Why do? Why you listen here? Saga gave Kato or a saga. <laughs> Ava gave Kato an icy stare. This is why you don't have any friends. Uh, dummy. Okay. Captain, with the right of the Legion last known coordinates. Power down all non-essential civils, give us a low profile, as of now we're engaged in shadow operations. Hi, Captain. I want long-range scans around the clock. If you see any suspicions, we'll aid to my office immediately. Captain Admiral Gray informs me that reinforcements are 25 hours out. In the meantime, he bids you good hunting. Give him my regards, Lieutenant. Sir. All hands, this is the Captain speaking. As of now, we are engaged in shadow ops. Our prey is the packed Super Dreadnought Legion. And these firepowers far outclass us our own, we cannot afford another close call like Congress. So should produce Sierra City to a flaming crater in the blink of an eye, and it will do the same to us if we are not careful. However it is that Pact is plotting out here, we need we will get to the bottom of it and unravel shields out. Captain, bring the begin the operations, I'll be in my office. Understood. Shields I to file on his computer. Alright, concert 412498.muse. He hovered his cursor over it. Doorbell! Promptly closed the folder. I'm in. We detected something on the long range scanners. Take a look at this. Space station of some kind? No, I think that's a little atom symbol or whatever. It's just missing a few parts. Definitely packed, but the design doesn't mention any blueprints we're aware of. A statement's electronic interface due to the station's orbit around Helon. We don't know if it's a sizable, compact, combined packed and pirate fleet protecting it, though. 
Pad wouldn't have deployed the Legion along with a fleet that huge unless it's worth protecting. Set course for it. Mascot reports using the star they're building the space station around. We're using the interface to hide their activities, but we can use it to our advantage as well. We'll keep monitoring the situation until the Alliance fleet arrives. Understood, Captain. <laughs> Why is Ava coming over so much, Kato? Her dad's usually her dad's usually star -sided. He's a pretty important person, so he's really home. Uh, are you sure you don't just invite her over because you like her? What, Murray? Murray held up Kato's hollow pad. I went for so la. I. Ah, I knew it. You have a hollow up or set as your background. That's just a photo from our training trip. Eh, ah, so you've been so you've even gone to the beach with her. I was with four other people. I was with Sola, Asaga, Shigara. Was there a fourth person? Oh, it's only the three of them in the academy. Oh well, hurry up and just get married already. That way we can all live together under one roof. I sure liked you better when you were six. Hurry started flipping through Kato's text messages. Stop that! Stop what? Looking through my messages, there's nothing interesting in there anyway. What's the matter if I look? Ugh. Kato left for the pad, but Murray ducked out of the way. Motherfucker, we got juked. We got juked by Murray. <laughs> See ya. She ran away. Hold it right there. Kato gave chase for the sidewalk. Duh. Hi, Ava. Sided. <laughs> Suddenly, a familiar face appeared out of the shop right in front of him. Whoa. Uh, Kato twisted his body as he hurled, hurled towards Ava. Uh, he groaned as he lay crumpled on the pavement. Which more an anime would have fallen right on top of her chest in this kind of situation. And yet, Ava looked down on him with pileless eyes. Ah, oh, you are an idiot. What are you doing running like that, chasing after a nef nefarious imp? <sighs> I don't suppose you're going to help me up? She reluctantly gave him a hand, dusted himself off. Come on, let's go. The two started walking back home. Once I get home, she's gonna get it. She's gonna get lit. <laughs> Actually, I read that. She's gonna get lit. <laughs> For the first time. <laughs> Once I get home, she's gonna get lit. Smoke weed every day. Anyway. <sighs> Should I put a... Should I put a D? What the fuck is a Dirac bug? Damn, I don't want to know. They saw the anti gravity device in there. What the fuck, Kato? No. BL to the. Oh no, not her BL. Not this again. That's BS. That's. <laughs> Oi. Yeah? Your face. Look like a serial offender. Yeah, he was shook her head. Idiot. Uh, 